A couple of hours ago, Google's lead for AI studio, Logan Kilpatrick, who has become a trusted source of AI news from inside Google, made a striking statement. We are not only going to casually get multiple AGIs, but a straight shot at ASI is possible. Artificial superintelligence, which is defined as an AI that is more intelligent than all of humanity combined. This tweet on its own wouldn't have been so significant. But when you see the full picture of why and when it was posted, you'll understand why I'm in disbelief right now. This is not a clickbait. Just watch till the end. It all started with Project Strawberry or QSTAR inside OpenAI. A new type of model which was reportedly a revolutionary new design. It remained a rumor. Until out of nowhere, Sam Altman was fired by Ilya Satskover, the chief scientist at OpenAI as part of the board. This event refueled the rumors about QSTAR. And the question of what did Ilya see became a meme. People were speculating that Ilya saw something very powerful that pushed him over the edge to take such a drastic action and protect humanity. I might add here Ilya as a character was known for being so reserved and thoughtful. One of those deep scientists who shied away from controversies and marketing stunts. So the fact that he participated in that coup prompted people to think. But anyways, when O1 came out, it didn't look like much of a threat. By the way, QSTAR and Strawberry were codenames for the O series. That should have been the end of the rumor. But then Ilya Satskover decided to leave OpenAI and start SSI, Safe Super Intelligence Company, with the stated goal of a straight shot at super intelligence. This was another piece of the puzzle. At the time, you could argue Ilya was under pressure to leave OpenAI because of the coup. And he had to make some bold statements after he left to make waves and attract funding and talent. But then, Safe Super Intelligence went on to raise $1 billion. How did he convince the investors? Ilya is a famous scientist, but does that really justify investing $1 billion in his new seemingly desperate attempt to move out of OpenAI? Or did he actually have some evidence to convince the investors that ASI is achievable? Again, the question popped up. Maybe OpenAI had something beyond O1 that we weren't aware of yet? We didn't have to wait and speculate too much until OpenAI introduced O3. And to say it was a surprise is an understatement. Consider today the toughest mathematical benchmark out there. Novel, unpublished, and also very hard These to These are guess. extremely hard. Yeah, very, very hard problems. It would take professional mathematicians hours or even days to solve one of these problems. Anything you can benchmark, the O series of models can eventually beat. Honestly, it was a big surprise to me how fast this level of capabilities has emerged. When he was announcing the ARC Prize and, you know, it was supposed to be a canary in the coal mine for AGI and now it's saturated. Suddenly the world thought, this is AGI. I don't think it is, but regardless. O3 wasn't just a powerful model. It was the representation of a new paradigm. A new wave that Ilya probably saw in O1 and instantly knew what's coming. So what is this new paradigm and how does this relate to ASI? First, give me 10 seconds to explain the O-series to the people who might not be as familiar as most of you are. The O-series of models from OpenAI focuses on inference time compute, which is a technical way of saying, instead of the model just blurting out the first word that comes to mind, it generates lots of thoughts. And then another AI looks and rank order them based on how likely they are to get to an answer. This new layer is comparable to our conscious brain that reflects and evaluates our thoughts. This fundamentally takes us away from predicting words to predicting the series of steps that will lead us to a reasonable answer. This reflection also helps a lot with reliability. Just imagine how unreliable people would be if they did and said the first thing that popped in their mind every time. But how it works and why it works so well isn't the key. The part that blew everyone away was the gap between O1 and O3. Here is what the top researcher at OpenAI said. O3 is very performant. More importantly, progress from O1 to O3 was only three months which shows how fast the progress will be in the new paradigm of RL on chain of thought to scale inference compute. Way faster than the pre-training paradigm of a new model every one to two years, referring to GPT models. This means it is entirely possible that we not only get O3 in 2025, we'll probably get O4 and even O5, and other companies will release their own versions of it, as we talked about Google's confirmed alpha thinking model. So now let's look at the tweet from Logan Kilpatrick and how it brings it all together. A straight shot to ASI is looking more and more probable by the month. This is what Ilya saw. Keep in mind, the scaling of pre-training models wasn't done 
and we now also have the scaling in inference time compute. So what happens if a company puts everything aside? No products, no intermediate releases, just pre-training a frontier model beyond GPT-4 and Cloud 2 and a scaling inference time compute way beyond O3. In other words, a straight shot at super intelligence. Is it crazy to think that AI might actually surpass all of our expectations? By the way, if you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps. So why is Ilya's attempt any different? Most of these AI labs nowadays pour lots of resources into building products. The gap between a research model to a product usable by hundreds of millions of users is gigantic and filling it requires so much work and attention. So we can't underestimate the power of focusing on just getting it to work. Doesn't have to look cool, doesn't have to be scalable, doesn't have to be safe. Not in the same way that a product in the hands of hundreds of millions of people should be safe. It just has to work. Then he goes to say, Ilya founded SSI with a plan to do a straight shot at artificial superintelligence. No intermediate products, no intermediate model releases. Many people, me included, saw this unlikely to work. If you get the flywheel spinning on models slash products, you can build a real moat. However, the success of a scaling test time compute, which Ilya likely saw early signs of, is a good indication that this direct path to just continuing to scale up might actually work. We are still going to get AGI, but unlike the consensus from 4 years ago that it would be this inflection point in history, it's likely going to just look like a product release, with many iterations and similar options in the market within a short period of time. Referring to the fact that there are a lot of similar products coming out. And it is very likely that this is it. It's probably just a matter of engineering and scaling at this point. And we might not only get AGI, but ASI sooner than we could have ever imagined. My name is Puria, and I bring you the hottest take views. I'll catch you in the next one.